On this Saturday night, state of emergency. Searching for a serious strategy with U.S. warships on alert in the Mediterranean, the president looks for options. After doctors inside Syria confirmed thousands were treated for symptoms of a chemical attack. To the crisis in Syria now, the White House is weighing its options against the Assad regime after reports that Syria's army used chemical weapons on its citizens. Doctors Without Borders, which has teams in Syria, confirms that thousands have been treated for symptoms of exposure to a chemical agent. Tonight, as the Obama administration considers its response, U.S. warships are on alert in the Mediterranean near Syria. We have two reports beginning with NBC's Ayman Mohadeen in Cairo. Ayman. Good evening, Lester. The international NGO Doctors Without Borders says it treated more than 3,600 patients on Wednesday, the day of the alleged chemical weapons attack, out of which more than 350 died as a result. Now, all of them, they say, displayed symptoms of neurotoxicity, an indication that perhaps chemical weapons were actually used. Now, the Syrian government has denied any responsibility and denies that it used chemical weapons. More importantly, today on Syrian state television, they showed images of chemical weapons that were allegedly found in areas that were controlled by Syrian rebels, an indication that perhaps it was the rebels that were responsible for launching these weapons. Meanwhile, the top UN disarmament chief, the undersecretary general for the United Nations, arrived today in Damascus. She's been trying to press the Syrian government to give UN inspectors access to the site of the attack so that they can determine exactly what happened.